Adawak just launched another conversation piece. From the Ettore I reviewed through Cobra and Tarantula, each one of their models have been original and truly something else. The latest model is called the Spaceship and weirdness wise, it is positioned somewhere between the Cobra and Tarantula. While Cobra was probably too unusual for its own sake, making it pretty much unwearable, Tarantula turned things down making it as close to a classical looking watch as possible. And here I'm talking about the case shape and size. The spaceship sits somewhere in between, looking like a streamlined version of the Cobra, making it sit and look much better on wrist. It still looks weird and with a lug to lug of over 53mm, it wears almost too big on my 6.5 inch wrist, but it is not as thick as the Cobra and thanks to a huge and uniquely shaped sapphire, it reveals more of the wandering hour complication. The case finish is amazing and a step up from their usual offerings with a combination of polished and brushed surfaces with many bevels, rounded and flat surfaces. It is a festival of shapes and I like how they use the same style of screws for everything, from case and case back to the dial and even the wandering hour complication. It shows attention to detail. On this model, they somewhat simplified the complication making it rotate only horizontally, like they did on the Ettore, putting three discs on a three-pointed star. Unlike the Cobra and Tarantula that use pointers instead of discs and more importantly have both horizontal and vertical rotation, making them slightly more interesting. This horizontal only rotation however works better with this design, especially with the spinning second circle. It is there to mimic that orbiting part we often see on spaceships in the movies. I like it quite frankly while reading the time is pretty straightforward and the watch is quite legible in both daylight and darkness. It comes with two FKM rubber straps, one color match to the dial and one black. And just like I said in the Tarantula review, it is one of the best if not the best feeling rubber strap I ever tried. They also included the same flip out clasp that is not only easy to size, but also hides the excess strap underneath, so you don't have anything sticking out. They also developed a new quick release system, making it a third variant they made so far. Some brands develop one and spread it out through their whole lineup, while Adawak pretty much invents a new one for each new model. That is respect worthy from an engineering point of view, but it also leads to a problem. Due to this having a longer lug to lug, it makes the strap longer as well. So even at the smallest possible setting, the strap is slightly too loose for my taste on my 6.5 inch wrist. And because of the mentioned proprietary quick release, you're stuck with using stock straps. So if you have a wrist under 6.5 inches, you won't be able to wear this. The watch will launch soon and will retail at around $2,000, but as usual, they offer a sign up coupon where you pay $50 to get a $500 discount when they launch, which will bring the price down to $1,500, which like I say in all my Autowalk reviews, seems high, but given how much hyper watches with similar complications cost, it doesn't seem too much while the finish quality on the case at least might even surpass the price point. While this watch is better as a conversation starter and will draw more attention, I still prefer the Tarantula as it not only wears smaller and more comfortable on my wrist, but also has a more interesting rotation and you have the ability to put it on any strap you like as it comes with regular lugs, making it more versatile. If you want to draw attention and have a wrist bigger than 6.5 inches, then this one is a better option for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.